Good morning, church. I want to talk to you a little bit today about what is considered in Scripture as, uh, or labeled as, the Lord's Prayer. And as we look at it, I want to just, I'm going to read it, but we're going to specifically ask the Lord to speak to us through one section. So he is talking about prayer here in a teaching, and it's found in Matthew chapter 6. And so he gives some scenarios prior to this, these verses that we're going to read that he spoke. And uh, so if you want to know the full context, you can go to Matthew 6. But let's listen to this part. Don't be like them, for your Father knows exactly what you need, even before you ask. Pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need. And forgive us our sins as we for have forgiven those who sin against us. And don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. Now, as you look at that prayer and see that Jesus said pray like this, he's giving us like uh, somewhat of a formula, not exact words to speak, but a way to pray. So acknowledging God, etc., etc., etc. But one of the things that I want us to see here is uh, in verse number 11, I believe that this is what God wants us to see here. Give us today the food we need. So one of the things I want to encourage you with today is to pray for yourself. You know, some I've heard a lot of people, especially Christians, are like, you know, I, I just... I don't feel like I should pray for myself. We're supposed to pray for ourselves, praying that God would meet our everyday needs. There's no no doubt about that. The the beginnings of our prayers should actually be honoring of God, and then us before others. Now I don't mean that like we're putting us before others, but see if our relationship isn't right with God and we're not trusting God, then really what significance are our prayers i need to make sure that i know who the god is that i am speaking to i need to make sure that my relationship with him is right i need to trust him that he's going to take care of me in every situation and scenario of my life that he is my provider and then we'll pray for others and their needs you see, as we look at the model of prayer of Jesus, he does tell us right there in the scriptures that we are asking him to forgive us, right? Right after we ask for our needs to be met. So the focus is on us first. And then that focus from us goes out towards others as we are forgiving everyone around us for what they've done against us. Deliver us from temptation. So you see, the reality is, is that the core of this prayer is actually focused towards us because if our relationship with God isn't right, what does it matter? Let's have an amazing day with Him and let's be His church.